I'm an awkward built dude. I mean, I can't tell what they got on camera, but like I'm built awkward, man. Like clothes don't really fit me. Like the sleeves, like this is supposed to fit. It doesn't. All of this in my eyes, given to me, gifted to me, you know? I was, I, I was born a certain, by two parents. I was born into a situation that allowed me to have the opportunities to get where I'm at. God gifted me with a body, you know? Like, I'm an awkward built dude. I mean, I can't tell what they got on camera, but like, I'm built awkward, man. Like, clothes don't really fit me. Like, the sleeves, like, this is supposed to fit. It doesn't, you know? I got my mom's arms and legs. I got my mom's feet, you know? But I got my dad's face and torso and like it's, I'm this odd combination that all of a sudden just allowed me with the a, with a, with a right mind or a, a mind that works like to get to where I'm at, you know? Like this is all given. With that comes a responsibility to then give, right? So like I can't, I cannot, I cannot reiterate enough how much I love the fact, like how kids look at us when they come to games. They look at us like we are just bigger than life and they don't realize it, but we're normal guys. And then when you have an opportunity to treat a kid like your little brother, like a normal person would treat a kid, like their eyes light up and they look at you and like, what? And then like, it just makes it so much more fun for them fun for yourself and this realization that like, okay, this was given to me, people poured into me, how do I keep that cycle rolling, you know? Like, and the fact that I could, I think the realization that I could keep that cycle going freaking fired me up. So if I was gonna give a piece of advice to a kid that looked up to me or any other baseball player, big leaguer, or just someone that they looked up to, I would wanna get to know that kid um, and kind of see where, where he was coming from. Um, kind of get a little bit background on his situation and kind of like just bridge that gap because my situation is so unique, man. Like lived overseas a couple times, like had every opportunity, you know, my parents made sure that I, I want to make sure that that kid knew that like, hey, listen, if we're just talking about baseball, it's for everybody. You know, there it's a beautiful game that, that you can count on one thing. That game is gonna, that game is gonna go it's got to go until that last pitch is thrown, that last out is made. So strap in, and and that could be a metaphor for anything. Like strap in 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 life. Like if you're gonna do something, I mean, my dad always told me if you're gonna do something, don't do it, don't do it halfway. Like do it right. If you're gonna make your bed, like get the wrinkles out, man. Like make your bed. You know, if you're gonna play ball, let's go play ball. You're gonna prepare yourself to to go be a big leader. Prepare yourself to go be a big leader and beyond. Like, don't, don't, don't tiptoe around it because something happens and it's not done right or it doesn't go how you thought. It's gonna hurt you more than anybody else. Nobody's gonna care. Nobody, nobody cares, you know? Nobody cares that you ran seven sprints when you're supposed to run eight every day over the course of the season. And now that something happened or you didn't perform or your body didn't hold up or whatever it may be, you feel bad about cheating yourself Personally, man, don't care. That's that's a you thing. So you got to be accountable to yourself. Be yourself and really enjoy that moment that you're in doing what you love because the moment is fleeting. Um, for however long it is, it's fleeting. And and if you love what you're doing, you'll give you'll give you'll give it what it what it needs.